Hi everyone, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. I'm a registered acupuncturist and yoga teacher. I like to combine Chinese medicine principles with yoga. Today, the practice is combining a little bit of a qigong with yoga practices while on the chair. Um, we're also gonna be working on specifically uh, the lower back area. How do we work on the lower back while on the chair? Many of us have suffer from maybe knee or hip injuries, um, maybe uh, lower back is starting to bother you, and you need a practice where you can't be standing too long. So that's where this practice comes in. If you like the sequence, please subscribe to me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. So to start our practice, uh, I always like to mention that it's very important to have your feet planted hip width distance apart firmly on the ground. Your shoulder should be on top of the waist and then your spine is nice and tall and the crown of your head is reaching up to the sky. So you're nice and tall. To start the practice, we're gonna have our hands on top of the thighs, relax shoulders, take a nice deep breath here, in and out. One more breath, in. Why we do this is just so that we can relax, set the pace, and get into our practice. One more breath, in and out. Good, let's take our arms all the way up. Reach up, inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. Breathe out. Again, breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. Let's take it out. Expansion here. In and out. Again, breathing in and out. So to start our practice, we want to open up the lung space, expanding our lungs, preparing the body to accept more oxygen. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's take the right arm all the way up. Breathe in, relax the shoulders, breathe out. As we stretch to the side, we're expanding the lungs and opening up the side of the body. Inhale, lift, and exhale again, breathe out. Again, breathing in and out. Good, come on back up, lift and release. Let's do the other side, up, tight belly here, tall spine, and then melt. Again, breathing in and out, inhaling, exhaling. We're always connecting breath with movement, inhaling and exhaling. Reminding ourselves that if anything feels uncomfortable, we're gonna stop or slow down. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, we're gonna roll up the shoulders. One, two, Let's go for five, three, four, five, good. Let's do a sun salutation while on a chair. This is something that um, I like to combine with pressing into the meridians. So we're gonna take the arms all the way up, touch the fingers, inhale, nice tight belly, tall spine, exhale, take your hands to behind you. We're gonna rub into our lower back here, okay? Inhale, you can stop rubbing, open up the chest, and then take your hands to the sides of the body and press down, breathe out. With a nice tight belly, firm pressure into the feet. We're taking the hands on the inside, breathe in, come on up, and roll the shoulders back and down, okay? I'll show you the side profile here. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, release the hands and see I'm rubbing into my lower back. Tall spine, sit nice and tall. Then I'm stopping, I'm breathing and doing a little bit of a heart opening, opener and also opening my shoulders, elbows are behind me. Breathe in and then I'm taking my hands to the sides of the body. Breathe out, come on down. Good, with a nice tight belly, feet press into the floor, tight, tight belly, press on the insides of the legs, give 
hidden channel of our bodies, rolling up, roll the shoulders back and down. Okay, let's do three more together, please. Breathe in, up, exhale, breathe out. Rub, rub, rub into the back. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, pressure to the side and down. Inhale, tight belly, supporting the spine in the back, lower back, breathing out, roll the shoulders back and down. Okay, two more, breathing in, up, breathe out, rub, 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 breathe in, breathe out, push down. We're stimulating the yin and yang meridians here. Inhale, tight, tight belly, press up, inhale, come on up, exhale, release. Okay, one more, inhale, lift, exhale, down, rub, rub, rub into that lower back. Inhale, chest up, chest up. And exhale, push into the yang meridians, the outside. And then tight belly, press on the inside, the yin meridians of the body. And then release. <sighs> well done. How's that feel? Inhaling, shoulder rolls up and back. One, and two, and three. Perfect. Okay. If you've ever done one of my um, videos before, you'll know that I love to tap on the meridians. So we press on the legs of the meridians, but let's do that with the arms. So we have both the, the top, the yin and the yang of the upper half and lower half um, stimulated as well. So we're gonna press on the outside of our arm and then come around the fingertips and press on the inside of the arm, come across the chest, the shoulders down on the out, up on the in. Okay, don't forget to breathe here. <sighs> up and across, down, get those fingers, come around, across, down, up and across. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time, all the way. Good job. Down, cross, and down, and across. Okay, because the lower bar of the body was activated and we the upper body got, got a little jealous, so we had to do both. Perfect. Now we're in a perfect position. Things are a little bit moving, stimulating. You're feeling the chi and the blood moving. What's the chi, you ask? The chi is your life force. Now, I want you to spread your legs a little bit further apart. Okay, so not too wide, not too small, like just like Goldilocks, like just perfect for you. Make sure both sits bones are still on the chair. And in this practice here, I want you to take the arms out. So breathing in and out. Okay, so you'll notice reaching up to the sky, tall spine, shoulders still stuck right on top of the waist. Breathe in and out. Okay, again, breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. Okay, now arms up. I want you to take brush stroke this left arm across and I want you to come all the way. So you're brush stroking, touching the hand and moving it back, okay? and out. Great. Right hand's going to brush, tap into the left hand, come across the arm and out. Okay, getting it? Breathing in, breathing out. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out. Now I want to encourage you to move the waist, move the torso. Okay, now if you're finding, did you spread your legs too far wide and it's too much? Go ahead, make it a little bit smaller so that you are not overextending yourself, especially if this is the first time you're doing this. Okay, breathing in, breathing out. One more on this side, in touch, breathing out. And release, arms up and breathe out. Now inhaling up and down. Again, breathing in and release. 
Take your hands on top of the thighs now where your thumbs are closer to your torso, to your body. I want you to bend in with your right shoulder, sticking the right elbow out. Right shoulder goes in to the center. Good. Come on back to center. Chest up, tight belly. Other side, down and tight belly, come on up. Okay, again, breathe and up. Good. Don't forget to breathe and up. Nice tight belly, tall spine. We're doing one more on each side. Good. Wonderful. With your legs still like this. Now we're going to take the arms all the way up and then hand to the heart. Now with a tall spine, I want you to imagine you're pushing um, like energy in a wall. Okay. And then I want you to pull back and then pushing and pulling back. So I always like to visualize I'm pushing out negativity, things I don't like and I'm pulling in all this goodness into my body, okay? Pushing out and pulling in goodness. Pushing out things I don't like, maybe some difficult thoughts. Pulling in good energy, positive thoughts. Pushing out and in. So do you have any grumpiness in the body? Push out that grumpiness, okay? Pull it in all that goodness. Again, push out. And in. Good. Now up here, I want you to sway back and forth. Sway. And I want you to have fluidity in your spine, your lower back. And I want you to feel comfortable as you do this. Okay. How do you feel? Do you feel that maybe you're a little bit rocking up and down on your sit bones? Making sure that you have a nice tight core because you're supporting your lower back as you do this. Good. Imagine your fingers are like seaweed with resistance in water here. Okay. Now I want you to have the seaweed almost circulating here in a motion. So you're kind of swimming with it. Are you breathing as you do this? Are you engaging your belly button and your belly muscles to support your lower back? Do you find that the legs are starting to feel fatigued because we have to strengthen our quads and our legs? So we're really working it here. Now all of this imaginary seaweed that we're kind of, um, you can imagine that you're harvesting it. I want you to scoop it up now and pull it in, okay? So we're scooping it all up and pulling it in. Okay, so back and forth and pull it in. Okay, back and forth and pull it in. Now from here, I want you to share all of that lovely seaweed that you've harvested. Okay, pull it all in and give it out and away. Good, in, now we're sharing. Pulling it in, sharing, here you go. Now, if you didn't like the visualization of seaweed, that's okay, use something else. Like, do you like chocolate? Is it pastries? My big thing are croissants. So pull it in and share, okay? What did you harvest? What did you make? Push, sharing. Now I want you to share it higher, okay? Pull it in. Sharing up, good. Pull it in, sharing. All this goodness, I'm sharing it, I'm sharing it. Pulling it up, share really high. Last bit here, whoosh, up high. Now, all the way up, and I want you to push, push, push up to the sky. Draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, push up, 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 up here, inhale, Ooh, and exhale, release. How does that feel? Lots of sharing of love and goodness, and we released a lot of tension doing that too. Take a breath in, 
and out. Let's put those fingertips back in and to release the shoulders. Let's see if they're a little bit more loose from that exercise. We're gonna bend in with that right, uh, um, right shoulder into the center. Breathe in, tight belly as you lift up. Breathe out, good, inhaling and exhaling. Wonderful, in and out, amazing, in, and release. Ooh. Okay, toe heel, toe heel, those feet back into a neutral position where the feet are right underneath those, um, those legs, okay? Knees on top of the ankles and shoulders right on top of the hips. Let's take the arms all the way up again and out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. One more time, breathing in and out. Now take the arms out to the sides, interlace the fingers, reach all the way up, take the hands behind the head, breathe out, inhaling, and then exhale back to neutral, release the arms. We'll do that two more times. Breathe in, interlace the fingers, breathe in, breathe out. Hands behind the head, open up those shoulders, Open the elbows up as much as you can. Tight belly, inhale, and then exhale, release. Last one, breathing in, touch, breathe out, in and out. Breathe in, and breathe out, release. Good, shake it all out. I always like to scooch back on my chair, and I like to shake it out here as well. Perfect. And that was our short little sequence with a little added qigong to that, moving the qi and blood, hoping that that's going to help be a little more fluid into your lower back space. Hope you enjoyed the practice. Please subscribe to me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.